Okay, good afternoon YouTube Fat Cat Collections back at you with another Invicta watch review today and today I'm going to talk about a new one I just picked up my collection. Now those of you who follow my channel or are subscribed to my channel might have stumbled across my uh, Invicta excursion that I bought. Uh, the other day I went ahead and treated myself to another watch. Uh, December has been a fun month in Jan uh, January too. But uh, it was an, I wanted an all black watch in my collection. Definitely check out that video. It's a beautiful watch but I just felt like the watch wasn't quite large enough for me to want to keep it in black. And I just feel like if I'm going to have a black watch in my collection, I'm going to want something that looks like that's not a G-Shock when I throw on the wrist. Because so let's face it, 50 millimeters is a big watch, but when you go get it in black, it, it is black is slimming. So black is going to size down the watch. It's just an illusion. And um, I just felt like 50 millimeters, I don't know, in a... Uh, all black watch. I mean, again, watch the video. I mean, a lot of people were like, keep it. A lot of people at work really liked it. But I just felt like for $140, it just wasn't worth it for me to keep it because I just didn't feel myself wanting to wear it. And uh, I will get another black watch, but for me to get a black watch, it's going to be probably the Sea Hunter with some black mother of pearl, something that makes it pop a little more, that gives it a lot more texture than the one that I had. But it's still a beautiful watch. Um, but I want to have. So I don't want something that when I, I wear it, people look at it from a distance. They're going to say, "Oh, is that a G-Shock? Oh, is that you just your every other black watch out there?" And Sea Hunter won't do that. So stay tuned for that. I will pick one up in the future. But in the meantime, I returned it and I said, "You know what? I'm going to buy myself another watch." So I paid the difference and I got my hands on a Sabaqua Specialty. And I've been. I can't really say I've been wanting this for a long time. I almost bought one of these two years ago in a full mirror polish, and I'm really glad I did not because. Lately, and I never thought I'd say this, but because I've always loved full polished watches, but I'm really digging this satin finish gold lately. I just got the Zeus Bolt in this color, and I'm loving this. And this has, again, got some two-tone to it, and you guys know how much I love that rose and yellow two-tone. And uh, that's kind of my go-to on any watch model that has that rose and yellow, although Invicta is my number one go-to. Um, so a little bit more about this watch, and then if you're new to my channel, basically... I tell you a little bit about the watch and I show you what it looks like on the wrist and that's really helpful if you're looking to buy one of these watches. Um, guys, you know, back in the day I used to wear a lot of like the Jacob watches and some of these flashier kind of iced out watches and if, if you were a guy who's like, you know, into hip hop and you know, you are kind of, and maybe just not necessarily into hip hop, but that tends to be kind of the theme. Guys who are into the hip hop tend to like the bigger, flashier kind of jewelry and watches. Um, guys, if you if you have not tried Invicta watches, get yourself an Invicta watch because I used to wear all those other brands, and let me tell you, th these watches are the flashiest, most beautiful watches, the most highest quality watches for the money that, in my personal opinion, you're gonna find out there. So. If you you know if you stumbled onto this channel because maybe you're not necessarily looking for Invicta but you're just looking for watches in general, and you come across this, you owe it to yourself to go ahead and get yourself an Invicta watch. And go ahead and drop me a comment, uh, find me on Facebook, and I'll go ahead and help you the best way I can in finding the model that's going to be the one that's going to you know fit your personality the best. Um, so enough about that. A little more about this one. Um, this one here, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This one is again model number is the uh, Subaco Specialty. Now, if you're new to Subaqua, basically, Invicta can get a little confusing because they have so many different models and submodels under different names. You have, this is like, again, this is your, this is your Invicta Reserve, which is kind of like your reserve uh, level of quality in some of the, the Invicta timepieces. Then you have Subaqua, which normally your Subaquas have Subaqua, Noma, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So then you have, the again, the Noma series, 1, two, one through 5. This one's just your standard Subaqua specialty. And this is a gorgeous watch, and I'm so glad I got it, and I wasn't sure because, again, anytime that I go with a watch that's under, like, 55 millimeters, I'm like, eh, I don't know, you know, it's not, I really like the bigger watches. And Guys, 50 is not small by any means, but I got to tell you, I continue to get blown away by Invicta watches. Um, so, a little bit more about this one. This is model number 14032. It's done in a gold on gold, which is rose tone and, of course, yellow tone, my favorite color combo. So, um, what else about it? You got about 13 ounces of weight that's unsized for a 7 inch wrist. So, I, I removed probably about, I think I removed four links out of this bad boy. Um, 31 millimeters in band width. It's nice and wide. Nine inches in band length. So, if you have a huge wrist, you're going to have. You're going to be able to wear this. Um, it's powered by a Swiss Ronda 5050E 
Quartz Chronograph Movement. This is the first 5050E Ronda movement that I have in any of my watches right now. I haven't had one with this. Um, they're all very similar, but this one basically has your day of the week right centered. Uh, right there, you can see the the main chronograph second hand actually is kind of uh, designed where it's, it outlines the day of the week. Then, of course, you have your date right over here on the side, and then your chronograph function. Uh, again, this one's done in the rose tone, where you can see that there is a rose tone satin finished bezel. Then you have some rose tone around the face, so you have a nice contrast. Then you have some rose tone on the back, which nobody sees, but you still have it. Um, this is done in all yellow gold. Um, what I love about this is that you actually have, and I didn't know this by looking at the pictures, that's something you just can't tell on the internet when you're looking at pictures, um, is that you have a lot of contrast this watch. And what you have is you have some polishing on the center of the crown, okay? Then you have polishing on this gear edge bezel right around the ends. Then, of course, the rest of the watch you have polishing on your inner ring, okay, and a little bit on the face with the hands and stuff like that. But then on the band, what you just cannot tell online is that you have a satin finish yellow tone gold, then you have a brushed finish yellow tone gold. So you have a nice contrast in the band that you really can only see in person. Um, the case is a 51 millimeter case that does not include your crown and pushers. Then, of course, you have a screw down function pushers and crown. That's pretty standard for the most part. Um, your flame fusion crystal and 20 millimeters of case thickness. So it's not as thick as your Venom watch. Uh, it's shy about three millimeters, but it's still a very chunky, thick case. Um, this is also done in what is called a case and cradle, where you actually have the watch and you can see you have your round case right inside there. You can see how you can see light right through the ends here. And that is actually sandwiched inside of this case, which is your cradle. So you have a very interesting skeletonized case. Um, you can see there's dimension and depth to this particular watch. Then over here you have the, you see the case has actually got like a satin finish again with your brush finish, your engraved reserve logo, and your screws to hold the case in. Um, and of course your screw down back. This is something you won't find on all specialties, only certain models. Um, and then of course you have your uh, Sabakwa Dragon logo right in the middle. Um, not too much else about this particular one. The Sabakwa series, if you're new to Invicta, you really need to get the specialty. Noma, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, and not in that order, I would recommend. I haven't gotten the two, and I've not gotten the four yet, or the one. The one I may not get because it is a 47 millimeter. It's a little small, uh, but it is a gorgeous watch nonetheless. In the Sabakwa six, the Noma six is coming out pretty soon here. Um, what else about this watch? Uh, that's about it on specs. Um, this is, I mean, just a fantastic, wonderful timepiece, and I picked it up for about 250 bucks. Now the price has skyrocketed since then. I was lucky to get in on it with an old, uh, with an old uh, seller that I bought several watches from. Uh, you can still find this. I'll put a link in the description. Go ahead and click it. You may still find it. That'll take you to my eBay listings with sellers that I recommend. Pick it up immediately, guys. If you've watched my other videos, now I've sold several, or I, not me personally sold, but I've referred several guys to pick up the Zeus Bolt I just picked up. And man, it's a winner. If you pick that up and you can swing it, spend another $250 and get this because the price is going to jump up pretty soon. Um, because, you know, these Invicta watches, one day you get them for a great deal, next thing you know they double in price. So when you see it and you can afford it, strike while the iron's hot. Uh, reserve watches also, you get a five year warranty. Although I have never dealt with Invicta, but I've never had to as far as having any kind of warranty work. Um, not too much else about the watch, really. Um, I was going to show you the chronograph function, but I mean, you can mess with that when you get it yourself. Uh, but remember, like all chronographs, when your main hand is moving, your chronograph or stopwatch is activated, which means you're wearing down battery life. So I got like, I mean, <laughs> I got like 60 watches, and a lot of them have dead batteries, but I don't really wear them anymore. They're just part of the collection. My Invictus and Androids I always wear. So I'm going to hate when it comes to battery time, but I'm going to be doing it myself. So I, you know, you'll be seeing that line of videos. So I need to get some a uh, little higher quality tools and stuff like that. But I got plenty of time for that. Um, I've had my Invictus, a lot of them, for over two years, and batteries are still running strong, okay? Um, so most important part now, what it looks like on the wrist. I'm about 5 foot 8 inches tall. I weigh about 170 pounds, maybe a little 73. I haven't been running for a while here. So, um, so oh, and seven inch wrist. So all these watches look pretty big on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. Um, but before I do that, one more thing I wanted to point out is that if you're 
that this particular band is your specialty band. You're only going to find it on this watch. This watch has got five links per, or five pieces per link. It's a very nice, lots of movement in there, very complicated band. Not as complicated as your Zeus Bolt, but very, very similar. Now you'll notice that this case and this band looks very familiar. And if you haven't seen it, I would urge you to check out my video on the Invicta Hybrid Venom. And what they've done with that particular watch, they've taken this band right here, this case, and the pushers from the Subaqua Noma 5 and the bezel from the Venom 2 combined it with a master calendar movement by Rhonda and created that a hybrid watch. And what I'm going to do is, I will because now I have all the watches that make up the Venom hybrid watch, I'm going to borrow that from my coworker again if you'll let me and just do another video on that when they're showing you each and every uh, part of that watch which is what makes that watch. So stay tuned for that as well. So let me go ahead and throw this on the wrist. Now your Venom hybrid you're going to pay about $500 for maybe four. Again, I've only seen it lower than that once, and now those days are gone. So, let me show you what it looks like. You can see not a small watch by any means. Look at that case and cradle. I mean, folks, this is just, I'm so glad I made the decision to return the other one and uh, get this particular watch, because it's just it's just me, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm really into the gold watches, and, uh, I mean, I like the silver ones too, but gold right now is just my go-to, I absolutely love the gold, and I don't have a lot of rose gold, I have a few, but, um, definitely, you know, I, the yellow gold, I never thought I would just really have fallen in love with the yellow gold this much. Let me get back a little bit here so you can see what it looks like from a distance. I mean, that band is really rich looking. It's really a beautiful band. And what I want to do here, like I've been doing a lot, a lot of my other videos here, and I didn't do this in the beginning so much, I'm just going to take you around my house and just show you what it looks like uh, in a little bit different lighting situation. I have some halogens in my upstairs hallway here, so I want to show you what they look like here. I don't knock anything over here. I'll move this around over here. You can see again it's a little bit more of a, a white background here. So like I said folks, subscribers, gentlemen, get this watch. Get it today. And again, you can check my website, Fat Cat Watches, but lately I've been putting a link directly in the description that'll take you uh, right to eBay and uh, show you the real-time listings from the sellers that I programmed into that link that I consider are reputable sellers that I purchased from and had good luck with. And of course, for the best price points, too. Get another angle on it here. All right, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, uh, that was the Invicta Sub Aqua Specialty Watch. Um, man, you got to get it. It's an amazing watch. I'm so glad I picked it up. And like I said, that, that excursion was a nice looking watch, but you know, it just, it just didn't really have the bling and the pizzazz of some of these other ones here. And uh, I just, I couldn't do it. So I will pick up a black watch again. I do want to have a black watch, but one thing I, I really want is... I really want something with diamonds or some kind of black stones to really kind of make it pop. And I think what I might do eventually is, if I can, I don't know if it's possible, is I would like to get the full-size Sea Hunter and actually take it to a jeweler and see if they can recess black diamonds into the bezel. Uh, it'll be a custom piece, but it'll be something that I really like. Um, if that isn't the proper watch to do that with, then maybe I could find uh, another watch that has 
uh, some sort of bezel it may work with that. Um, so we'll see. Stay tuned. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. If you like the videos, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you are going to make a purchase, I've been putting a lot of time and effort into these videos. I absolutely love sharing my passion with the world. And one way that you guys get so many people commenting on my videos saying, man, thank you, Fat Cat. I've, uh, you know, I watched your video and it's all I needed to pull the trigger and get the watch. I have personally referred and sold, not by my, you know, I don't sell watches, but, um, so many people have bought Invicta watches because of my videos. And one thing that you can do to help support the channel is if you are going to make a purchase through eBay, please go ahead and go through fatcatwatch.com and click those links that should take you to eBay. It doesn't have to be the exact watch that you purchase. As long as you get that particular cookie on your browser, it'll track you for 24 hours. or and Not track you, but any, watch, any purchase you make through eBay will be, come as a referral uh, through that particular tracking code to my website and I get a kickback on that which helps support the channel for me to buy more watches and put up more videos and eventually invest in some equipment maybe, some better lighting. Um, you know, I'm just kind of getting rolling on this stuff and I've had a lot of fun sharing my passion with the rest of the world. And remember, I've met a lot of really cool people. Um, I've always been a very private person uh, and so it took a lot for me to start making these videos to put my face out there for everyone. I used to do them like from the neck down, you know, and finally somebody was like, man, it, I like it with your face, it personalizes it. And so, uh, you know, I, lately I've been putting myself out there more. And one thing I've done is I created my Fa uh, Fat Cat Watches Facebook page. And I got my picture on there. So you know it's me. And uh, I met a lot of really cool guys. And we've been posting, like, your daily wrist shots on there. So be part of it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it's really cool to discover new watches and also come across new deals and stuff like that. So, um, again, thank you so much for watching. Check out FatCatWatches.com. Subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you want to get this, act quick. Click the link in the description of this video. They'll take you directly to eBay with the one the uh, sellers that I recommend you buying this from. All right, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.